So, so, hi everyone and welcome to my channel. A very special warm welcome to anybody who is new here. If you don't know me, I'm Kiwi Sims Kate. Kiwi because I am from New Zealand, Sims because I love The Sims, and Kate because, well, that's my name. It's as simple as that. Thank you for joining me for another speed build today. And I've got something a little bit different for you today. Different for a couple of reasons. Uh, the build I've got for you today is a castle. Now that is not something that, if you know my style so far, uh, that's really in my regular wheelhouse. It's very new to me. It's not something I would probably just go out and build on of my own accord. Uh, it's quite out of my comfort zone. However, I have had the absolute pleasure to be a part of a collaboration. And I always love doing collaborations because I get to uh, know other sim builders really well and it's just a fun project it also it often pushes me out of my comfort zone so it might be some kind of a theme that I'm not used to building um, I've actually done a couple well a few in quite a short period of time this is one of them and my other will be my next speed build so I'm not going to spoil that here but needless to say, it is also a build that is very, very out of my comfort zone. And uh, yeah, I had to really think quite hard about what I was going to do for that one and how I was going to build it. But I was really happy with how it turned out. And I'm also really pleased with my castle. Now, this collaboration is uh, put together by an incredible simmer and builder who you may have heard of because they have been a part of the sim community for a while now and her name is Juby Sims. Um, the best place to find Juby is probably just head to her Instagram page so her handle is at Juby Sims that's J-U-B-I-E Sims. I will put it into the description below as well so check it out there and she's an incredible builder. She really She's amazing at fantastical builds, things to do with fantasy, castles, grand designs, that kind of thing. And that's kind of the opposite to what I do. <laughs> I like simple, clean lines. <laughs> uh, so I was really excited when she asked me to be a part of this collaboration. And because it's a huge collab, actually, there are a lot of simmers involved in this collab. And there were a lot who was were building castles for the first time as well. So I felt really comfortable with the group and everyone was super supportive. And yeah, as I said, Many of us had never built a castle in game before, so I was excited to try. I was nervous, but excited. And once I decided on my build aesthetic, it actually wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. It was still tricky, but not as difficult as I kind of, I sort of almost had heart palpitations when I agreed to do it. I was thinking, oh my god, what have I got myself into? But no, it turned out fine. Well, I think so. I, ho I hope you like uh, this build. The castle I've done is based off um, a real castle that is... Now, I forget the name. Chateau de Mont... Mont... No. Mo... Ah, oh, no. No. I will put it into... Th into th <laughs> I will put it in the description what it's called but it is effectively it's the castle from this reality tv show which I used to watch called Escape to the Chateau. It's a um, British reality tv show that follows a husband and wife who buy this not so much dilapidated but a castle in you know, a bit of disrepair that needs a lot of work in order to actually 
live there or stay there. Um, and their dream is to do up this castle and it has this incredible moat around it and it's in France. They move from England to France and um, start work on this huge epic project and document it in this reality show and eventually open the castle as uh, quite a popular wedding venue. So now they have... Um, yeah they throw weddings there and I had thought of maybe making this into a wedding venue but in the end I decided to just have it a generic lot which you could probably make into a wedding venue yourself if that's what you wanted out of this out of this um, particular build but I just left it as a generic lot um, in the gallery and you can grab it on the gallery if you wish the other thing that was different with this build compared to most of my other builds is that it's unfurnished and I very very rarely do speed builds that are unfurnished um, but this was a bit of a special case. One it's huge <laughs> and it would have taken me a long time to furnish because of the fact that it's large and I'm not so comfortable with the style um, and so I just it was too much <laughs> and the other reason I didn't finish it what well, now I've lost my train of thought I don't remember anyway it's it's very large and I'm not comfortable with finishing this so I left it unfurnished and if you download it from the gallery you are more than welcome to furnish it and use it if you like um, the different features that I wanted to include in this build, as I said, it's based on a real life castle, but I did take quite a few liberties with the style and the design. I kind of got the main um, general faca front facade from pictures that I'd seen. And I was actually going to finish it because I found some floor plans of the real build. But it was just going to take me too long and I didn't have enough time. Um, but one of the things I wanted to include were these um, staircases out the front with this uh, archway underneath the staircases. That's in the real build and the staircases in real life are actually rounded. But obviously we can't do that in The Sims. So I've just made them kind of a, a U shape where they kind of angle in on each other but I really loved how the staircase turned out I think it could be incredibly epic for wedding photo shoots if you wanted to just use this build as just like a yeah a, a wed a, not necessarily a wedding but any kind of sim screenshots it would be probably perfect for that because then you wouldn't need the interior um and yeah, I, I love, love, love those staircases out the front. The, the back was a bit more difficult because I didn't have a reference. And um, by that stage, it had already taken me quite a while to build the rest of it. And also to make the pond. The pond um, that you'll see me start shortly is out the front. And I wanted that to be a big feature of it. So the real, uh, the real build has as I mentioned earlier has a moat going around it and it's in this beautiful little square right in the center of this amazing moat but I didn't want to do this because I think it would look a bit silly on this lot the lot is already raised quite a bit from sea level on these kind of cliff areas and I think putting a moat there just kind of doesn't make sense uh, and I wanted it to blend in as much as possible to the surroundings uh, on this lot in Windenburg, uh, which is where I've built it. It's in Windenburg on the little island. I don't remember the name, the lot name initially, but um, I think it's a, was it a 50 by 50? No, maybe it's a 50 by 40, I forget. But uh, I wanted it to yeah, look like it belonged and I think that if I put a moat there I think it would have looked a bit silly but I, I think the pond, I think I pull off the pond what do you think? I don't know so 
I just opt for a pond uh, with a little bridge over it, which I love. Unfortunately, because it's a, a live edit bridge, your sim will not walk over it, uh, but they'll walk around the pond. <laughs> and when I was actually playtesting this and getting screenshots, my sim was constantly playing in the pond. So now we have that interaction after we got cottage living where we could... Um, send a sim to like play in the water or yeah splash in in the ponds my sim just wanted to do that all the time if I just left her to do whatever that is the one activity she would do <laughs> she wouldn't leave the lot she wouldn't go down set the, you know light to the bonfire down by the beach she just stayed there and splashed around in the pond so hey whatever floats your boat I guess I'm working a little bit on the back here. I decided to give it a bit more interest. I placed a few balconies. So the top balcony doesn't actually have a door going out to it. Um, but I've just placed some windows. And I think it looks... Yeah, I think it just gives it a bit more interest um, with that top balcony. I think without it, it does start to look a little bit plain and flat. Uh, because it's it is a fairly simple castle it's one of these I don't know what century it is but it, it's quite a classic French style and they were pretty simple they were quite um, plain striking but plain they didn't have a ton of turrets and they didn't have weird shapes they were pretty rectangular and tall um, more like towers I suppose so I wanted to add a little bit of extra something to the back so it didn't look boring but um, but still keeping that sort of French aesthetic um, I used to I used a really lovely brick on this build as well which is in the light in Windenburg and I don't know if it's it is actually pink but it gives us off, off this sort of pinkish hue but ever so slight pink which I loved as well um and yeah I thought it I thought it also went quite well with the French kind of idea this is me putting in the pond I don't use the terrain tool a whole lot my last speed build actually which I'll link above was another quite large build uh, was a wedding venue and I used the terrain tool there uh, I really played around with it quite a bit before I started recording myself building because I don't use it much and I didn't want to screw it up. So that was, yeah, that was fun to use. It is challenging. I wouldn't say I'm comfortable with it yet, but I do want to practice it more. So you may see it in a few more builds coming up. <laughs> but here I um, I used the tool mod quite a bit to because what happens with with the terrain tool which is I find really frustrating and one of the reasons I don't use it very often is that when you slope the ground it does really weird things to your landscaping your plants your trees your flowers your bushes your grasses and they sort of hover over edges if you don't have the ground flat and you can't really, you obviously can't use the um, zero and nine keys to lower anything, lower than, than kind of the set level it appears at in the game. You can raise it, but you can't lower it any further. So I had to use the tool mod, which I'm still getting used to still learning but I'm trying to use it in every build so that I do get a bit more comfortable with it so you'll see I use it with uh, some of the grasses but I use it mostly with these rocks that I kind of layer on top of each other I um, I move them down and then pull them into into the ground um, to sort of frame the pond a bit more, make it look a little bit more natural. I just don't like the way the pond just looks, mm, yeah, not natural, I think, without anything framing it around the edges, you know. 
And the other thing I wanted this castle to be is not too put together. So I don't know if anyone actually lives in this castle right now. I wanted it to look a little bit like it maybe needed a bit of TLC. Definitely a bit of love to the gardening. Um, maybe they were in the middle of repairs to the building. I don't know. But I, with the landscaping around the pond, I didn't want it to look too perfect. So there are some manicured sections to the, sections to the garden, like the topiary around uh, the left and right of this front staircase. But for example, all around the pond, it's kind of a little bit messy and not manicured. Not what you would expect of a sort of um, currently functioning exquisite castle. So yeah, I thought maybe it could be something that... And I was again thinking about this Escape to the Chateau idea that maybe... It was for sale and it had been a little bit neglected. Not terribly, like the castle itself is obviously not falling down or anything, but it just needed a little bit of love, a little bit of a tidy up, particularly around the gardening. Um, I add a few objects to the pond as well. So there are, and I think you can spot them in the screenshots at the end. You've got a cute little pair of swans. Uh, you've got some fireflies under the trees. Um, what else did I add? I added some tadpoles, which when I went to go take screenshots in live mode, I couldn't find the tadpoles, but I could see a bunch of koi fish. And I got a bit confused. Has anybody else experienced this? I'm I'm almost positive I didn't add fish, but I can't find any tadpoles either, so I don't know what happened there. Either way, you've got a few little creatures. Oh, and I also added one of those um, logs that you can click on and um, like encourage is it turtles, I think? I think you can encourage turtles or frogs. I think it's turtle. Encourage turtles to sunbathe and a little turtle will appear on it, which is adorable. I love it so much. <laughs> we went, um, I've just actually recently got back from a mini break. I had a week off. I took a bit of time off streaming. Um, I tried to step away a bit from social media and it was lovely and my fiance and I went away for um, a couple, a few nights, three nights, just not that far from where we live. And we went to these gardens that I had wanted to go to for a long time. And they are incredible. I've been posting some um, pictures on my Instagram of them. But they, um, there was a Japanese, there's all these different themed gardens within it. And one of them is a Japanese garden. It's like a Zen garden. And then through the sort of pagoda area, there's this beautiful Japanese style pond. And I didn't even notice, but he, Mr. Kiwi, pointed over and said, oh my God, look. And it was a cute little turtle, but you would not have been able to spot it unless you were looking really hard because it was dead still. And it was sort of behind a rock, but its long neck was poking out. Oh my god, it was adorable. Too freaking cute. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I think uh, I'm not that far away from the screenshots. Uh, but I, uh, I think one of the last... I do the back last, I believe. But here I am covering the build with a bunch of ivy. I think it really brings it to life. Without it, it does look a little bit plain, I think, to my eyes. So I often add tons of ivy. I hope it's not too much. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I might add too much ivy. But hey, I love it. So <laughs> uh, I put 
a little patio area out the back and I do add um, a couple of doors out the back but obviously I haven't furnished it so it doesn't really matter that your sims can go in and out unless you do something to the interior and a bit of terrain paint I place a couple of fountains as well on the back patio area and I haven't recorded it but I go back before I uploaded it to the gallery I did adjust a couple of things in the fountains. So the fountains for the actual build that you can download off the gallery, they sit in they sit in um, some grass with a little fence around each one. Because I noticed when I went into live mode and I went to go take screenshots and things and my sim was walking around, that the fountains just, the water just spills out onto the the ground like the tile or the, the brick or stone or whatever it is and that doesn't make any sense so I had to change that because I don't like builds that don't make sense unless they're actually supposed to not make sense uh, anyway just a few more details I add but soon we will be coming up to the screenshots and if you do want to download this build, my gallery ID is Kiwi Sims Kate, and you can find this build and anything else um, there. Just look for my EA ID. I've got full builds, obviously this unfurnished. I've got furnished rooms, households, all sorts. But if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up uh, and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me and when I grow, I get more motivated to build more and to create more. Um, and yeah, I just, I just love it. I love sharing these things with you all. Um, and that would really help to support the channel. You can also follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Kiwi Sims Kate. And I stream there twice a week. I normally play The Sims 4, but every now and then I might throw in something a bit different at the moment I'm playing my legacy challenge and we're on generation seven which I can't believe <laughs> it's yeah it's wild that I'm so close to generation 10 I've been playing this legacy family for so long but it's really exciting we uh we're up to generation seven and um I've had, as I said I've had a little break so it's been about a week since I've streamed and I miss my community so much so if you'd love to be a part of our community head over there click follow and join me um, I do some other gameplay as well uh, and yeah it's just a just a fun time and my Twitter and Instagram handles they're also Kiwi Sims Kate so they're good places just to keep up with anything I'm up to kind of on a day-to-day -day basis as well uh, but anyway last few details here on this build as I said I finish up the back and I think I add a bunch more ivy on the back of the build as well um, and the fountains but kind of ignore the fountains they don't look the fountains you'll see in this build it's not how they look in the final build that you'll be able to download from the gallery sorry about that but I had a I had a little epiphany too late um <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it take care out there bye